a family association with horses and horsemanship and a training in physiotherapy at Guy's Hospital may seem a rather unusual background for an artist. But these two influences have helped to make Jean Walwyn one of our leading figures in the world of sporting art. Recently she started her most exciting commission so far, two statuettes of the Queen and Prince Philip attending the ceremony of Trooping the Colour. While she knows every subtle sinew in a horse, she faced a new challenge in depicting the minute details of uniform and accoutrements. Everything has to be absolutely correct. From the originals in plasticine, a mould is made for the final cast in metal. That training in physiotherapy gives Miss Walwyn a vital understanding of anatomy. This and her knowledge of horses combined created these vivid studies. St Paddy, Derby winner in 1961, the statuette for Tattersalls. And this is Highland Wedding. Jean Walwyn has had many commissions from overseas, from New Zealand, Canada and the United States, but this one is from much nearer home, a likeness of Fred Winter, presented by his fellow jockeys on his retirement. An action study of Tommy Smith, winner of the 1965 Grand National. The royal statuettes demand all her technical skill and attention to detail, as well as the eye for a horse demonstrated by this artist of the turf. Thank you.